Hello everybody, welcome back to Civilization 4, we're playing Dawn of Civilization as a mod, and we are in fact now at war with the Marleans, and we're also at war with these barbarians who are deciding to be total... Oh my god, we got the tithe, and I think we just got a ton of money. Well done. Now, this is a risky move, but I'm sick of them plundering all of my stuff here. These guys are actually such a pain. They're the only reason I have to keep rebuilding units, and it's so annoying. So what I might actually end up doing... I mean, if I pull off this attack, then we win. Please win. <sighs> yep. Oh, you got to be joking. Oh, you've got to be absolutely kidding me. Alright, well, apparently now we mean business. Ugh. That is so annoying! Why do they do this to me? Well, the city isn't unhappy, but... Uh, he's gonna pillage this, and it's just... Honestly, that is the most frustrating thing. In fact, you know what? We're gonna use the tithe we got to upgrade this guy to a knight. Right, the Malians are probably ready to capitulate. No, they're not. Well, I'm sorry, but you've got to. You have to! Oh, we don't have open borders of these guys. These guys were definitely going to have to conquer at some stage as well. Just cows. Yeah. Um, I mean, we have stretched ourselves pretty far. We can't do anything about that. Yeah, he's just going to rip that up, isn't he? Yeah, this is, this is so annoying. This is really quite annoying. I don't know. We might have to outright conquer them. Maybe. Oh, please. Do you know how much money I just spent on that guy? Oh, well, you can finish it, apparently. Wow. Good job. Well, that was, that was just stupid. We're going to have to build some more units now, though, because we're in a bad situation. So yeah, give me some more lances. Just general people like that. Uh, great artist was born. Don't care. We need to just teach them a lesson here. A lesson in pain. So let's leave them as the garrison. And yeah, we'll just move a bit further inland. Um, this is looking okay down here. Depends when Portugal finishes their trading company, of course. Alright, you can get that. I can't believe I wasted my tithe on that crap. Like, seriously. However, we are Pope, so we should be getting ticking score for religious victory. Oh, 12 great prophets. That's a lot of great prophets we'd need. Yeah, it's too bad we failed those, but eh. We'll be doing that. Uh, we do want that, though. Thank you all. Ah, there's their capital. I do not want to take their capital, though. That's the thing. I don't want to actually conquer them. I want them to be my vassal. So, if we can just convince them, you know. Oh, crap. We can actually... Oh, no, we can. Good. And you can just head back that way as well. We've got another unit here. Yeah, and then one more after that. Actually, you could probably make that start on that, can't you? Heavy galley. Yeah, do that. And then you can actually work on something else. Like maybe a forge and a library. Maybe a library first and a forge. I know forge gives production, but I would much rather have the science coming in straight away. You can take that. Yeah, let's just pummel the city. Come on, man. Like, I'm serious. Okay, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do then. I'm gonna go find the other city. Because we've got another somewhere, surely. And we're gonna we're gonna take that and then we'll give it back to them. You know, we we, we will be generous. We'll give it back to them. They've just got to say please. <laughs> and the way the way of saying please is to capitulate and become my vassal. Oh my. Oh my. This could not possibly end well. Oh god. 
Oh good, it did end well. Whew. I mean, sometimes it doesn't, right? Sometimes they just take your forces. Bat prize. Right, so we're gonna block the entrance here. Not that it actually blocks it. But it's it's good to think that it does. I think they'll be this way. Ah, there it is, the Gen. Gen or Jenny. Well, they do have some forces. Like I'm not I mean, I am being a bit proactive here and trying to I guess sort of conquer them and might be actually underestimating them a bit. But yeah, next turn we'll take the city out and it will be wondrous. Next turn. Well, hopefully we'll be able to conquer them. They're stable, though, so they might make a very stable vassal. Wow! France actually has Spain as their vassal and Portugal. Well, well, well. <laughs> Egypt will be dominant. Nice. Can we perhaps get it now? Yes, we can. Thank you. That's all I wanted. And more. All right. And now you can have your city back. No, not you. Good God, man. Colony of Mali? Thought I'd have a cooler name than that. All right. There you go. See? I'm a generous god. I am a generous god. I guess we'll send our armies back together. All right, you finish that. Could get a mine up here. Get a mine up here. Hey, go for it. Excellent. So now we've got our vassal. We've created a, a bit of a pan-African empire. So far, so good. Yeah. Wow. This is amazing. Now the Congolese is probably who we want to go after next. I don't know if we can get the Almohad straight away because they've got some pretty vicious units. Uh, but we can try. Do or do not? There is no try. There is now. No! We will not be giving you anything. You'll have to take it from my cold, dead hands. Or hands. Let's get a spy. Man, production in our capital is wonderful. But we can't help but still have lots of desert tiles, so we've got to be bit careful. You know what? We'll assemble all our troops here. Yeah, we'll bring all of our troops here, heal them up, and then we'll head south into Congolese territory. And then this will probably get, um, well, this whole coast will probably get colonialism. We'll have to be careful of that. Oh, the Mali will open board. Well, of course they will. They're our vassal. Could also demand stuff from them. But we've actually got all this, I believe. Um, post office. Yes, please. Primary trading city, I think. Uh, and we've almost got finance, so I definitely want to get the, um, the special wonder. The San Marco Basilica. Right, I've got a, another Lancer here. Even though they're, they're not the greatest. But, you know, they can be decent. So I think, I mean, we should have accomplished our goal. If we haven't, though, but well, then that sucks, but what can we do? Where is it? I mean, it says specifically tri-rooms, right? But, like, there are no tri-rooms in this game. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, because, I mean, I can show you guys. There's literally no tri-rooms anymore. I think, because we can't necessarily get this, I might actually give myself a reward. It sounds a bit cheeky. But... I mean, considering... Where is it? I'll show you just to make make it clear. Ooh, galleases. Got the head those. I guess that upgrades from... Uh, oh, wow. Upgrades to a torpedo boat. Yeah, heavy galley. Upgrades to the galleys. Yeah, see, look. There's no tri-room. You've got wall galley. I mean, that's the tri-room, isn't it? I mean, that's what it looks like. But it gave us this quest when we couldn't even accomplish it because we can't even build those anymore. So we'll wait one turn, see if we've accomplished it. And if not, I don't know. Maybe I'll give myself a little reward. Like, it just feels a bit cheap if we can't get the quest. Because I still like the quest system. Okay, so we didn't get anything. I mean, should I do it? Might be a bit silly. I mean, I know, you guys probably wouldn't approve. So, I mean, maybe I won't. But, uh, I just feel a bit cheated out of it. 
to be honest. No. Because what you can get, one of the options is you can get plus one uh, gold from all your harbors, and I actually love getting that one. That's the only reason I actually kind of built this fleet up. I didn't do it as a vanity project, you know? What kind of reward could I give myself? It'd have to be something minor, maybe something just one off. What about a great person, right? Great merchant. Because, I mean, there's no way I can think of that I can actually edit the file so that the, uh, the harbor thing can happen. How about this? I'll come back. I'll figure out something. It'll be something balanced, though. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna overdo it. But I'm gonna get a reward for this quest. Actually, we'll wait one more turn just to see if maybe it hasn't ticked in. Because we've got the seven Troy rooms, you know, in, in brackets. And then yeah, I'm gonna figure out some kind of reward for my for my civilization. Yes, yeah, so we didn't get the pop up for it. So Marco Bazooka requires harbor. All right, you've got to build this, buddy. That's going to be a really good wonder for us. Let's do it. So we've got a spearman here, so that's decent. Yep, so I'm going to figure out something, and I will be right back. And we're back, everybody. Thank you for your patience. So I've decided that I would, from this event, gain a great merchant. However, I'm not going to use him to plop down in the city. I'm going to actually use him to travel to a faraway land, and I'm going to pop him as a... Um, what do you call it? As a... Well, as a great merchant, because I've never actually done this in this game. Uh, well, I've never done this, like, for one of my Let's Plays. So that's what we're going to get. We're not going to pop in, in the city, though. It's going to be a great merchant quest. And that's going to do just fine. Just because we can't get the reward that is naturally owed to us. However, if for some reason it kicks in at some stage, I will probably discipline my civilization. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And I do apologize if that doesn't seem like it's a very fair thing to do, but I think if you get quests like that, you should be allowed to complete them. Because that's part of the game's mechanics to get those quests, and I really like doing those. I don't like building a navy, though, that I'm probably not going to use for a long time. Just because, like, oh, because there you go, you've got a navy now. Incentive. Like, well, yeah, but, eh. I would much rather there be uh, some kind of, like, true-to-world benefit. But yes, I have determined though that we will go on a quest, and we will not gift it to Turkey. And we will also use our spy to go and spawn Turks, because, well, that can be a bit tricky as well. Alright, we're going to heal this one more time, and then we're going to head this way. Also, building a road across this desert, is, it's going to be tough, but I think it would be wise if we had to reinforce our vassal over there. Still going to build the San Marco Basilica. B Basilica. Basilica. I mean, that would have been a good reward, right? Built. I could have gotten a great engineer and just finished that or something, but no, I think I think this was, like, more fitting. So that's that was my sort of thinking behind that. Right, we do have a little barbarian problem here. I've got some MP. Make sure we can hopefully destroy this unit. Good. That can always be a bit alarming. And now we're going to head south into Congolese territory, and we're going to hopefully conquer the crap out of them. Build that mine, and it will be mine. It will be all mine. And we're going to get a bank here, and then, yeah, we're going to get San Marco Basilica, and then we're going to get a bank here. Oh, actually, uh, get all the things, to be honest. Yeah, you're going to build a bank after that. And look, we've got our Malian vassal. Aren't they cool? The Almohads as well. Like, oh, I wanted an empire. It's so like, well, sorry, you can't have one. So, that's that. Ooh, Turkey founded Konya. Oh, no. Oh, and we've also got these guys to kill. Very nice. So, I like how this is going so far. Alright, we're now building a bank there. Lovely. Oh, somebody circumnavigated the globe in 1480. Whoa. I mean, somebody's probably got caravels. Although, it could have been Portugal. But yeah, actually, that is that is a bit scary. England will trade. Thingy with us. Oh, we could collect another tithe. Can we collect another tithe? Sorry, that was squeaky. Uh, no, but you know what we can do? We can... Stop the war. No, I don't want to stop any wars. I want to start wars. Let's start a crusade against... It'd be nice to start a crusade against uh, the Ottomans, actually. But apparently not. Excommunicate. I 
I mean, we could excommunicate, like, one of the European powers. Probably France, actually, would be good. But what would that do? What does that actually do? I can't remember. Does it kick them out of this whole thing? Crusade against King of Poland. I don't really care. <laughs> against King of Poland, that's kind of funny, though. Um, no, we will excommunicate France. Or at least we will try. France, you seem to like me. Oh, you don't want to trade text, though. England, you seem to like me. Oh, you are ahead of us, though. Holy Roman Empire, you seem to like me. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. Yeah, we're not going to trade with you. Um, we are ahead of Poland, that's good. Man, France is going to have one hell of an empire, though, if, uh, if this keeps up. We've got to be very careful. We've got to be extra careful. Claude Perzot. Man, look at all these independent territories in the Balkans. Kind of cool. But yeah, we're going to keep sending our merchant this way. Hopefully Mali will settle like a city down here. And I don't know. It'd be nice to uh, to have them sort of expand a bit. Because you know what Europe's going to be like. Be like oh, look. It's the Ivory Coast. It's the Gold Coast. It's not the real Gold Coast, but... <laughs> no, it is. It's the original. It's the original... All right, we're going to keep you in the city until you have gained enough sources. All right, I know this isn't very far, but it's a very... Wow, that's a lot of gold we'll get from that. Jeez. But it's a very um, safe trade route. And yeah, sending it somewhere like Paris is going to be like, whoa, lots of money. Lots of money, lots of, lots of extra stuff. That's oh, the same, same amount, really. All right, well, we'll pop it here. So here we go, conduct a trade mission. Gives us a ton of money. Enough to actually get me to raise that up. And you know what? It's also a good time to upgrade a lot of our units. So yeah. So there we go. That was my reward for completing that quest. Whether you guys approve or not, I do apologize. Well, let me know. I mean, if you think it's cheeky. I mean, maybe it is. Maybe it is. And I'm sorry. But... If I can't win this, then I have to give myself some kind of goal. Yeah, it looks like the Ottomans did take that city in the end. The Ottomans aren't very strong, though. But they are building settlers. I don't think they're going to settle in our direction, though. There we go. There's the Congolese. We'll give them open borders for now, but then we'll declare some war. No, that's not what I wanted you to do at all. But it would be nice to see what's over here, just to confirm. I also love how, like, Byron is uh, representing this. I think it's Byron. It's the name of the uh, the island. Or Qatar. Maybe it's Qatar. Ooh, you guys can't actually follow into the jungle. It does make the Congolese quite safe from uh, from outright attack, but we can actually go this way. I would say we're taking the long way around. And I believe all of our crossbows just got promoted to me. Unless it just redistributes their experience so they can use it otherwise. Which, if that's the case, I really like that. I really like that system. Alright, spy was uh, discovered operating in our city. Oh, why would anybody have spies? Whoa, that panther was, uh, was really going for it. <laughs> that's kind of funny, actually. Mm. Wow, and you even got a promotion. Let's go find if there's a way this way. Hey, look, some elephant buddies. Elephant friends. Oh, trading with India, please. Please. Although we have to give them stuff. All right, what about this? He would do it for gold? Wow. Man, I would absolutely love to just give you theology, though. How about that? He still wants gold, though. I don't mind. I mean, heck, it's far enough behind. Oh. <gasps> Well, hello. I would like gunpowder, but I don't know if I want to trade two techs for it. What about finance? No, finance is... What about finance? Mm -hmm. No, actually, these would be better. Just for gunpowder, though, would I really do it? I did. Yeah, I'll take that. Marble would get me everything. Just outright everything. The question is, though... The question is, do we need it for this? No. So it looks like 
we can make a trade like that. What the hell, France? You are getting big. I hope they collapse at some stage. Whoa. How's our stability going anyways? We are pretty solid. Let's bounce the barbarians. We're still in a recession, apparently. Right. Go India. All right, India. We want your trade, then. Would you do it for stone? He would even throw in some gold, and it... Yeah, for stone. Yep. I like it. Now we've got lots of happiness, lots of bananas. This is the cool stuff. This is going to take so long to get to the Congo. Wow. I think that's how you say it. The Congo. It's not Congo, it's the Congo. Take control of Iran. New. No. Although that would have been fun. I still love it. We're a Catholic. Um, a Catholic... What do you call it? We are a Catholic state. <gasps> no! We can now get the silver. This is where Congo is, so that's where we need to get to. If we can. It's gonna take a while. Um, but we're a Catholic Egypt. A Catholic Egyptian Empire that was never conquered. It was only attacked, never conquered. Oh, another trade! Dude! I mean, I know that the thing is the AI is always going to give you an unfair deal, but I'd rather do that with him than the uh, than do it with the AI. Oh look, we've even got some Malians uh, coming down. They're like, hey, what's going on? Discovered some valuable information. All right, France, you need to collapse. You're doing way too well. We found some coffee. Oh, <gasps> my favorite. Oh, lots of coffee. Oh, delicious. Delicious and nutritious. Oh my god, I haven't been using this guy. Alright. Well, we can't mine coffee. So we have to, in fact, create this. Oh my god, coffee! Right, I'm going to end the episode here because it's been quite a long one so far. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any suggestions, let me know down below. And of course, uh, enjoy, enjoy my other series. And I'll see you next time.